Recently I have been working on RC system based on ESP microcontrollers. I successfully tested it in the line of sight flight and long range flight already. You can check the video in description. The only thing I still want to test is long range mode which is available in ESP32 microcontroller. Long range mode is a patented custom mode that can achieve larger distance with lower transmission rates. This time I decided to build an AF3.02 brushless microplane which could fly with single 18650 lithium ion battery. For the frame I chose an DF Mini Spirit flying wing. To run motor from 1S battery, I need brushless ESC designed for 1S. ESCs and flight controllers rated for 1S LiPo battery are available on AliExpress. However, to consume all energy from lithium ion battery, hardware should run down to 2.5 volts. I am not sure if those ESCs capable of that. So I decided to build using generic components. I can use boost up converter to power flight controller rated for 2S. I can use 2.5 gram servos which are capable of running down to 2.5 volts. And I researched how to convert little BBL Heli S20 amps ESC to run down to 2 volts. The boost up converter which I used can run down to 2 volts. Output voltage is set by resistor network. In my configuration, I set DC DC output to 6 volts and power knocks a V1 flight controller from 6 volts. Power GPS and receiver from flight controller 5 volts regulator. Power servos and camera from battery directly. In order to convert ESC to 1S, CPU and FET drivers should be powered from boosted voltage. It can be achieved by desoldering resistor and diode as shown on picture, and adding separate low current wire for 6 volts input. Receiver is based on naked ESP32 module. Full instructions how to build receiver can be found on GitHub page in video description. Any high KV motor rated for 2S can be used with 1S, just with bigger propeller. I use 7500 KV 1206 motor with Gemfan LR5126 propeller. Plane fly well. It has enough thrust to fly against the wind. After a bit of trim and NPID tuning, I decided to test the range immediately.
With 5 dBi antenna, I was able to fly for 1800 meters, which is very impressive for 25 milliwatt Wi-Fi module. Long range mode has an effect. It is not 2 times increase, but still impressive. I was flying back on low charge. Suddenly, I lost video and telemetry. It seems that flight controller hang and plane fall down somewhere 500 meters away. I had to do more line of sight testing before trying long range flight. I quickly ride it to the last telemetry location. I had a stable link but was not able to enable beeper. Luckily, there still were video. Using directional antenna, I located plane position somewhere on the other side of the river. While battery discharged, I heard beeping on other side, while flight controller was rebooting few times. I reached other side when battery discharged completely. I did not have video and area was not looking easy to search. After 40 minutes of walking back and forth inside dense vegetation, almost desperate, I finally spotted a plane near the water. This search was not easy. But okay, it is a part of this hobby. I returned home to check what possibly could go wrong under low voltage. And I found that below 3 volts, servos jitter randomly, and below 2.8 volts, flight controller can hang. I thought that jittering is caused by large noise at DC-DC converter output. I added bypass capacitor on boosted voltage, but it did not help. It only solved flight controller reboot problem. After checking everything, I decided to change servos suspecting that they were damaged some way. This is where I spotted a little difference between PCB layouts. It appeared that the same servo type, bought from the same seller, but at different time, worked differently. I was lucky that I accidentally got servos which work on low voltage. Otherwise I even wouldn't know that such servos exist. I replaced servos and repeated range test, this time using Moxon antenna. I was able to fly 1,700 meters away, which is slightly less that with 5 dBi dipole, but considering compact size, I would recommend using MOX and antenna for this project. I am very satisfied with this build. Plane is compact, easy to handle, 
and has enough thrust to fly in windy weather. This is my first build which can use full power of single 18,650 lithium ion battery. On single Litokala HG2 battery, it can fly more than half an hour to the distance of 25 kilometers. Impressive for 1S plane.